Hey guys, it is I, Random Blasters, with another part of Let's Play Casper. You're probably thinking, hang on, I thought you finished this game and want nothing to do with it. Well, the thing is, I kind of changed my mind because I'm actually going to show you all the bonus things that I skipped. And the first one is, um, do you remember that monster-like boiler we saw when we first entered the cellar? Well, that's where we're going to go to first. We've got some gold keys to pick up. Or a gold key. Now we go past here. And it is through... Here. I wasn't going to do this at first, but I decided, meh, what the hell. Just get on with it, really. Go through this monster-like boiler thingy. Get out our gold key. As you can see, there's plenty of gold around. I didn't bother coming in here before because I thought it was just coins. But then we needed that key. Um. Ah. I'm going to stop the iron weight here. And that has opened something, I wonder what. Obviously this door here. More pointless coins. And we go through this pipe. And there's a couple of red keys which we go pick up and we're going to need them. And in this bonus part we are going to be solving the final two jigsaw puzzles. Getting the final two power-ups. And guess how many times we use each of them? If you said once, you're correct. One use power-ups. This game is full of them. Anything up here? Oh. I'm not going to bother with this bit. I actually don't know what's through there anyway. And we don't have a black key, so it's a bit pointless. So, if anyone does know what's past that bit, please let me know in the comments or whatever. Bag of gold, red key and some carrots. And we are going to use those red keys soon. No, we're not going to go back. Let's go back up. This uh, still scares the hell out of me. I was going to do a bit in the end where I try and use all my coins against Carrigan, but then I thought, nah, just just leave it. And there was a bit later on where there's lots lots of gold that we don't even need, and I decided not to bother with it. You'll know it when you see it anyway. So where are we going to go now? I wonder. Do you remember in the uncle's bedroom there was a um arrow made out of coins pointing to a door that's blocked off and it's a silver door as well. well we're going to deal with that now because there's a jigsaw piece in there to find. It's this room right here. Use a silver key. I don't see what the point is of having planks and a silver door. It's a bit pointless, isn't it? Let's see what we get. We've got some food on the table, as you can see. And we've got to drop an iron weight. Let's drop it and we get... Nothing yet. We get a jigsaw piece. Now, the next place we're going to go is... Do you remember in the garden, in like part two or something, I opened that secret area behind the garden gate? Well, that is where we're going to go next. Because we've got a puzzle to solve in there. We've already got three pieces for it. And there's one left to find, I think. So 
so we are going to go in the garden. By the way, I don't care if this gets 100% on this game, because I don't really care. I don't think you ever find out how much percent you complete. I don't know. Anyway, let's go in the garden, go through the maze, and go into that secret area. First, we need to change into the buzzsaw. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned that, but you see that rocking ch chair there? If you touch that, it reveals that switch that you just saw. I don't remember if I um, did that in the last part two or something. And that bookcase there, we get to move a bit later on. We can't do anything with it now. But there is something behind it, which we come back to. You move these two on the end. And in this chest is the final jigsaw piece for this puzzle we're going to do. Get out our gold key, open the door, go through, and you see these suits of armour. Now the ones that you move are the four corners and the one in the middle. That opens this. And now we can finally use up that piece that I've been using in every pretty much every single puzzle. Finally get rid of it. Put this one, this one, and not that one, this one. And it's a picture of Casper, as you can see. And we get the spring power up. And now we are going to use the spring power up. Where are we going to use it? Well, we're going to go back to where we first started off, which is on the spiral, where we started the game first of all. You can't miss it. I thought the spiral was just for decoration at first, then I realised. There's where we got our present for Cat. Long time. get the spring out, change into the spring, and bouncy bouncy, up we go. We sure did Casper. Now we've got two jigsaw pieces we have to find I think, or is it just, or is it three? The first one you go through here, that's easy to miss because there's like a secret vent that you can't even see. You would have thought that switch does nothing, but it actually has done something. Do you remember that bookcase I just talked about in the um, secret area in the garden? Well, that switch has enabled us to move it. So we're going to go back there now. I don't know why it didn't just move the bookcase instead of just enabling us to move it. Let's go back.
And here's the bookcase. We can now touch it and it moves. Genius. Now what's through here, I wonder? Coins. In chest number one, nothing. Chest number two, nothing. In chest number three, jigsaw piece. Yay. It's a bit pointless having the chest with nothing in them though. Now we're going to go back up the spring. Go back to the spiral and use the spring again. So we've got one more piece left to find. And one more picture frame left to find. And one more one use power up left to find. And then I can safely say that I've pretty much completed the game. Then I'll be satisfied. And that's all that matters. Waffling on a bit there. Let's go back. Get our spring out. And let's go back up. Bounce, 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 bouncy, bouncy. Up we, up we go. Now we're going to need our two red keys now. Let's move this chair out of the way. And there is a vent behind that chair. Here we go. Red key number one. Red key number two. Plus an extra key which you don't need. I don't think that has moved something. And here's our last picture frame. Touch the clock. And we have our final jigsaw piece. Let's put these in. One, two, three, four. And we have our final power up, which is the Casper Man. Now, as with the last five or so power ups, this can only be used once. And we get more pointless gold coins. Yay! Let's go down because we are going to go into the attic. For one last time. Go up the purple staircase. Go in here. And into the attic. Now, the Casper Man is used to move heavy objects, namely the chairs, and behind one of these chairs is an air vent which leads into another bonus room. Now, where could it be? It's this one here. Yep. Let's open it. Let's move it, sorry. And here's our vent. Now this is the most stupid puzzle you are going to see. Really. I found a hidden bomb. Got some food here. Behind here is some gold, but how do we get it? The only clue we have is this. 52 to 10. And I was like, what the hell is that supposed to mean? And we've just got a load of switches which we've, which we've just got to move around. And I am not even going to bother with this because one, we don't even need that gold behind there. 
and two, you'll just be stuck there forever. I still haven't found a way to solve it. And what, is, what does 52 to 10 even mean? As if an average Joe would be able to know what it's supposed to mean. If you do know what it means, or what the correct combination is, you can say. But, yes, pointless gold is pointless. You don't even need it. I'm going to end this video here, and that's it for Let's Play Casper. Done for good now. And I should hopefully see you in the next Let's Play, which is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on PS1. I hope you've enjoyed this pointless bonus room. Goodbye.